Before we get into the video, just a friendly reminder, there is an official Jules Army Roblox group that you can join now. We have special merch like t-shirts, dresses, pants, and hoodies, and lots and lots of fun games and giveaways. So make sure to join. There's already some members, and you guys can chat with me here. There's an official little chat, and I'll be answering and talking to some of the fans. So make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe, join the group, and let's get into it. Hey everyone, it's me Roblox Jules. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm here back in Adopt Me and today we're not going to be playing Adopt Me. Um, we're going to be kind of reverting back to one of the main things I post on my channel, which is some Adopt Me news. And we haven't gotten it since uh, before the Christmas update came out because the Adopt Me staff's been on break and there just hasn't been updates lately because obviously there's been this huge event going on. But like I said, the Adopt Me Christmas update, uh, it's it's... It's in the game and everything, but winter is kind of coming to an end. Uh, Christmas is definitely coming to an end. It's all kind of, you know, transitioning into, like, the next update and whatnot. And uh, with that comes the arrival of the next update. Now, I'm sure you guys have been wondering what the next update's going to be. And today we're going to be talking about two huge update leaks, including uh, the next update and the brand new adopt me egg so make sure to drop a like subscribe and comment down below your roblox username because we're going to be doing a giveaway very soon and i'm not sure what it is yet but i think it'll be pretty fun so make sure to get ready for that by hitting the bell and um yeah i'm also going to be letting you guys know i'm looking for a neon bat dragon so let me know if you guys uh have one of those in the comments i have a pretty good offer um also a neon giraffe uh, but anyways on to the news so basically i know a lot of you guys know um know that last year we had a i think it was a chinese new year i really hope that's right yeah chinese new year sounds right um and i'm pretty sure that we're going to be getting another one this year now uh chinese new year let me just look it up i know it's on a friday this year um and it is okay it's friday february 12th um which means it, it's definitely perfect timing um for the next update after the christmas update and if I had to guess, I bet we're gonna get something really cool. Cause if you guys don't remember, last year it was the lunar update with the the rats, I think. Yep. Oh wait, it auto did it. Ah. Um. Last year it was the rats, and you got these these like gray rats, and um, they basically kind of just um. I don't know. They 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 were they were cool and all, but yeah, like you, you got the gold ones too. It was like a, a chance. I don't know. It was really fun. People didn't like them, though, because they were creepy a little. And then there's also the arrival of the panda pet, which ended up staying in the game permanently. And it's now in the shop for 250 Robux. Now, if I had to guess, we're going to be either getting not really a Robux pet or, like, some something. Uh, we're either getting a new Robux pet uh, or an event item. Now, also was some really cool furniture that came out when the update came out. Let me try to find that. It was um, Eastern. It was the Eastern furniture set. And it was really cool. There were some great things. Maybe we'll get that this year as well, a new set. Um, but I wanted to talk about a new pet that might be coming out. Um, leaked by a, a guy named, uh, I think it's it's Sea Crafter or something like that. Um, but he leaked a brand new Guardian Lion pet um, that the team is allegedly working on now. He's a brand new leaker to the Adopt Me community. So I'm not 100% confirming this. But if I had to guess, this is probably true because everyone's everyone's talking about it and everyone kind of loves it. But um, it's the Guardian Lion Pet, like I said, and it's gonna be uh, a little gray in this photo, but um, he recolored it, as you can see here, and uh, it looks great. Um, again, these colors aren't official. Um, and it might change, but the guardian lion looks really cool. I can only imagine it will be a legendary pet and uh, It looks way different from what you guys know as a lion in adopt me like it doesn't look like this It doesn't have a mane. It's not yellow. It's not it's not a lion It's it's a lot different, you know So it's definitely gonna be interesting to see how that mixes in with the world of adopt me. Is that a mega giraffe? What? Um, but anyways, oh my god, and it's no potion. No way. Um, but anyways, on to the next part, this is where I'm going to be talking about the brand new egg that's coming to Adopt Me. Now, this egg um, is leaked in a bit of a weird way, and this year, Adopt Me is letting us pick the egg. Now, what I mean is, um, Adopt Me just recently tweeted 
uh, January 8th, they said, think it's time to start talking about the next egg. What would you like to see? And then it was kind of like a they wanted you to reply, and they also said, make sure to like the ideas in the comments. Now, one of the most liked ideas, there were a ton of them, but one of them was um, Ocean, which is something everybody's been wanting, a Desert, Fantasy Egg, there were quite a lot. Now, um, Adopt Me, I guess they took the most favorited, liked, and most popular ideas that they thought were really creative, and they kind of just put them in a poll, and what I mean by this is they made a tweet 16 minutes ago from when I'm recording this video saying, which egg would you like to replace the fossil egg? asking for a friend and obviously they're switching out the egg now it's probably going to be a while maybe a month or two because if they're asking us what they want it means they haven't even started on the egg yet um obviously that's that's going to be a while down the road it usually takes half a year for an egg to come out um after the the other one came out so the fossil egg came out back in october it's probably let's see october uh god november december January, February, March, April, May. It's probably going to be around May when we get the next egg. Um, so that's that's pretty exciting. Now I do know that, um, like I said, this this is going to be uh, up to the community. And Adopt Me released a poll, as I, as you can see. Now the options were ocean egg, household egg, mythical egg, and rural egg. Now first off, before I even start speaking about um, which one I think would be the best. Rural egg, by the way, means farm egg, and Adopt Me hinted towards doing another version of the farm egg um, a long time ago because there's so many farm animals. Like, we didn't even get a sheep or a goat or anything like a goose. We could have gotten so many more animals in the last farm egg, and they kind of split it up thinking that they might do a second farm egg, bringing back some of the old pets in a different way and by bringing in some new ones as well. So that's probably what they mean by rural egg. Mythical egg, I hate the idea of that. I'm so sorry, but we... I, I like made-up creatures, but a whole egg based on things that don't exist, it's kind of, uh, like, obviously, the fo fossil egg, like, T-Rexes did exist, and I like that they, they, they're bringing in some, like, cool creative things, but, I don't know, I like, I like normal animals too, you know, Adopt Me, like, um, the saber tooth, that's awesome, that's a real animal, but the, the Glyptodon, actually, don't quote me on that. I think Glyptodons were actually real. Obviously, they changed up the coloring quite a bit. But, um, like, I don't know. I love the idea of mixing in some, like, non-real aspects into Adopt Me. Like, half the egg, non-real, or, like, out of this world, and then the other half, real. I can totally be on board with that. But the other, just all mythical, ugh, I, I just don't like that. And I think people are letting that blind them. Um, and that's why, if you'll see in a sec, it has so many votes. But um, the household egg is the next one, and that one seems really cool. And let me explain why. I think that Adopt Me does such a good job portraying animals in their game. And I think if you take something like a dog, like literally, obviously a three-year-old or a two-year-old, maybe even a one-year-old, definitely not a one-year-old, but they could they could know this is a dog very easily. And um, I. I just think Adopt Me does a great job, like, making their, their pets clear and whatnot. But if you think of some things, like the fact that we have two types of real-life dogs in Adopt Me, the Shiba Inu and the dog, that it's, it's really kind of like a, a mixed perception of, um, of, like, what the community wants and what Adopt Me thinks they want. And I think that's where Adopt Me came to realize that maybe a household egg would be awesome, because... Lots of people want their own types of dogs in the game, and that would help with role-playing a lot with families. I know I don't play Adopt Me for the role-play aspect of it. I play for trading and for fun and updates and playing with my friends, but I really don't role-play. But I know a lot of people that do, and they would love to have their own types of dogs. So maybe some more dog breeds, some more types of cats. We do have some versions of the cats. We have the ginger cat, the snow cat, the black panther, which kind of looks like a black cat, and the gray cat. So, we have some cats already, but some more dogs would be awesome. Um, and that could also include with the household pets. If you think of some things, maybe a goldfish, I don't know, a lizard, a tarantula, um, a chinchilla, some sort of ferret, mouse. I don't know. I'll leave the imagining up to you guys. But the possibilities are really endless with the household eggs. So, that's probably my second choice. And then my first and number one choice, which is actually the one I voted for, is the ocean egg. Because this brings so many possibilities to adopt me 
And I think a lot of people are against the ocean egg for only one reason. That reason being um, that they would only be adding fish. Which is totally not true because if you take something like, I don't know, maybe the, uh, the, the fossil egg. That's a great, that's a great uh, example. Fossil egg has a lot of pets in it. The most pets any egg has ever had. And when I heard of the fossil egg, I have to admit, I immediately thought, I was like, ugh, only dinosaurs. We're literally getting a full egg of only dinosaurs. Half the egg wasn't dinosaurs. So they do a great job. And I can already think off the top of my head some really cool creatures that aren't fish. I'm sure we could get maybe a, uh, a crab pet, a, a seagull. Um, I don't know. I think there's some really, really good uh, possibilities for the ocean egg. And that's why I think that's the one I'm most excited for. Um, so that's a pretty... Uh, big choice now you can see the votes now um it, it's really really close between the mythical and ocean and i'm pretty sure the ocean's gonna win so i think we can all expect the next egg to be a confirmed ocean egg so make sure to go vote yourselves on the adopt me twitter you can follow me on twitter as well it would mean a lot to me and then the final thing i'm going to be speaking about in this video is also something really cool if you guys didn't know this there is uh let's see when is this update end this christmas update it ends in, I actually don't know, wait, I have to go to the, um, the ice castle, but basically, I know there is some space between the guardian lion, uh, what's it called, oh, wow, mega albino, I know, that's sick, um, the guardian lion update that I was talking about, that's February 12th, now, this update, um, the, uh, the Christmas update ends, I think, January, oh, I gotta go check, one sec, um, I think this update ends around hmm all right now i can actually speak yeah it ends in eight days and today is the 10th i believe no what's today what's today god i didn't plan this part of the video um today is the 11th so it ends on the 19th which leaves a good 20 ish days in between now adami has hinted to bringing back the monkey fairground update so i would definitely expect to see monkeys make a return in the next couple of updates and i would i would assume this because they definitely said it was coming back this year and i think it would be really exciting now the monkey pets themselves um adopt me has been kind of torn between two decisions and one of them being bringing back the classic monkey of course this this little guy and bringing back the al oh, i don't even have an albino monkey but an albino monkey just them two and then the rest of the ones the ones you get these little items to uh, to unlock, um, I think they're gonna change. And they they uh, created a contest last last like seven months ago. I don't know. Um, and it was it was about like what monkey variants can you come up with? And there were so many good ones. So I can see them remaking all the monkeys. I could see a police monkey. I could see a dentist monkey. I could see a doctor monkey. I could see a witch monkey. I could see a queen monkey since they did the um the the king one i really think the possibilities with this one are also endless um so three updates to expect the guardian lion the brand new ocean egg and the return of the monkeys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope this was helpful again follow me on twitter join the trading discord it's linked in my twitter um subscribe drop a like and let me know if you guys have any questions about uh, this update because hopefully I can help. Leave a comment down below and I'm sure to respond. See you guys.